What's going on YouTube? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to save your SHSH blobs for downgrade and jailbreak purposes. This is a very important procedure that you should do if you are interested in jailbreaking in the future and especially if you want to make sure that you can jailbreak in the future. So for this we're going to use a brand new tool. In fact it's an older tool that has been redesigned. It's the TSS saver but as you can see it's the version 2. This one looks completely different than the one we used to have which looked like this. So hopefully this one also fixes the bug where your blobs wouldn't show. Now a little bit of a background before we get into saving because the saving process is pretty quick. Now you can do this on both Windows, Mac OS, Linux, it doesn't matter if it has a browser and you know your ACID and of course the device type you should be good. So this means that as long as you know your ACID or you have it noted somewhere you would be able to access this website even on your phone and save them directly from your phone and you don't have to be jailbroken in order to be able to save blobs if your device is A11 or lower, so iPhone 10, iPhone 8, iPhone 7 or lower. If your device is an A12 device or newer, basically the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR11 or 12, you will need to be jailbroken. So for those of you who are not jailbroken but want to be able to jailbreak in the future, you cannot save blobs. So my advice would be to stay as low as possible, below 14.2. So why do we save the blobs? Well, there is this tool in here called Future Restore, which has now been made available for iOS 14 as well, which means that you can downgrade from iOS 14 and as you can see it's completely open source. So it's basically a full downgrade tool for iOS which allows you to go from a version to another with of course some limitations. You have to have a compatible baseband and SEP but most importantly you have to have saved SHSH blobs. So in order to save them you can use either TSS Saver which has now been updated and it's actually quite good which also provides a blob checker to ensure that the blobs are valid but of course you can also use various other tools. If you are jailbroken on an A12 device or older, you can definitely use system info which can save blobs on device. It's basically a tweak. There are Telegram servers, there are Discord servers, there are multiple servers that can help you with this and there are even standalone tools but this one is quick and easy to use. So in order to save the blobs what you need to do is to open iTunes or any software that can detect your iPhone like iAmazing or the Wondershare tools or stuff like that and you will be able to see the data in here. You're not concerned about the serial. You have to press once and then again and you're going to get the ACID. Right click and copy this one. This is important. You can save the blobs for whatever is signed at the moment without being on that version. So if the ACID copied, we have to paste it in here, but make sure that hex is actually selected here, not decimal. You paste it and make sure that the iOS device is correctly checked in here, because otherwise the blobs will not be valid. So if it's an iPod, as is my case, you have to select it, and you have to select which kind of device. Pay attention in here, because this can screw your blobs. Now if you're saving the blobs for an A12 device, you're going to have to follow my other video, which is going to be in the description down below because you're going to have to also specify the app nodes in here. In this case we're not saving for A12 so you can leave this unchecked. We press submit and that's basically it. At this point the blobs will be fetched but before that we have to complete this in here. So after you complete the captcha it's going to say this device added to queue. So we're going to get a link, we're going to open the link in here and once it's possible we're going to get our blobs. So I'm going to open 14.2 in here and as you can see all the blobs are now available. They did fix the bug where there were no blobs available. There is one for no upnotes as well and you can press on it and download it. The actual content of the blob is pretty easy to see if you open a terminal so I'm going to say cat and of course go ahead and open one of the blobs in here and this is what it contains. It's basically a lot of base64 data but you can see here the generator that has been used. You would have to set this generator to be able to downgrade with this blob so that's why it's important to know it. Now if you want to check the blob you can go here to the TSS saver basically here I'm going to close this and there is a blob checker you press on it and it would go here you can get a blob and upload it and it will be automatically detected press I'm not a robot and you will be able to check if the blob is okay press submit and it's going to tell you everything about that particular blob the blobs must be valid if you want to be able to downgrade so it says in here SHSH2 is valid and it tells me the information about the device like the generator that was used which we're going to need if we want to downgrade the type of the restore behavior which is a race and the versions and stuff like that. So that's basically it. If you want to use your blobs you will need Future Restore which is available for Linux and Mac OS. It's also available for Windows sometimes but it doesn't get updated often for Windows. So yeah that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out.